Hey guys, today I'll be going over how to make your trifecta upgrade for your Fast Eddy XL or your Fast Eddy with the three pin dual pointer. You can see I've got my trifecta upgrade here that I had from last year. And this is just building off of the double pointer that they came out from last year. So you're going to need your sight off your bow. You're going to need your Allen wrenches. You're going to need a set of pliers. And the main most important part that you're going to need is you're going to need something that you can bend around a screw that I'll show you here in a second. And, and I'm showing you this pipe cleaner because this is what I'm using as my, this is actually what I'm using as my pointer. And so um, this is like a Dollar Tree pipe, Dollar Tree pipe cleaner. And um, basically I, I unraveled the wires. I used one wire. It's super bendable. It's really quite strong. You're not going to bend it while it's actually on mounted onto the site. And it was really cheap. So, um, you know, passed, it passed the cheap test and, uh, or I should say the affordable test. And it's really easy, really bendable, and it's fine enough to show you down to the yard where you're at on your dial. So that's what you're going to need. So I'm going to tell you right now, a paper clip won't work. Don't even bother. I tried that already. It's not It's not even really even fine enough anyways because it's going to show that you're like at two. You can't really, it's, it's too fat to show on your dial which yard you're actually at. So this is, is going to show you down the half yard where you're at. So um, don't bother using a paper clip. Don't even waste your time. Find something that you can bend around a really soft small screw over and over again and then bend into place. So that's all you're gonna need for the upgrade. Here's how you do it. So here's everything that you need to do the upgrade. So the first thing that I'm gonna tell you to do is going to make sure that you have your sight on 20 with the way that you'd have it set when you're not shooting. So you can see that I have it set usually on 20 and that's where I leave it. And basically from there, you're gonna undo this screw which holds in your pointers. So I'm gonna undo that screw real quick. And the main reason I have it on 20 is because I want to be able to just to slap my pointers back on there and not have to reside in my bow. There we go. Get that in focus. We take the point double pointers off. There's a little washer that I have right here. We're going to take that off, which comes with the double pointer. I mean, that's part of the site. And then you can see my current double pointers right here. We're going to take that off just to completely redo it. I'm going to have it wrapped around the, uh, the screw so tight I actually have to screw it off. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this around the site a few times the, as, best, as best as we can. I'm going to zoom out a little bit as best we can. And it does help to use um, pliers once you get on this thing a little bit. And you can see that I'm trying to keep it pretty close together here. So I'm going to zoom in back on that. You can see that I'm wrapping it around, trying to keep it close together. And then I'm going to scrunch them all up together, going against the head of the screw. You can see that's starting to form around the screw there. So we'll keep getting this thing. So basically, you're just going to do that. I have it on this screw. I have it wrapped around a couple times. So that's really all you need. You don't want too much wrapped around the screw or else you're going to have a hard time getting the pointer screwed in with the washer and you're going to be too gapped. So here's where you're going to need the two pliers that I was talking about. You're going to hold that one there. Okay. And then you're going to pull the tag end here tight. There. You can see it's really starting to come together now. So I'm going to scrunch it back down. And you can also screw in the screw, put the washer back on there, and just tighten it down with the screw as well. But that's just a little, takes a little bit longer to do that. So you can see I'm starting to get it into position to where it needs to be. So when I get it to about this point, I'm going to put it back on the site. And I can grip the site once it's screwed in there so I can get more leverage on it. Okay, and that's really just what I'm looking for. So, And all you're doing is basically just scrunching it up to the head of the screw here. And you're basically just using the screw to do that. Pull it tight again. See how it's starting to form onto the screw there? That's what we're looking for. There. Let's back it out. I'd actually honestly say this is probably the hardest part, the most time consuming part of the process, but once you get it on there, it doesn't really take that much time. Okay, so now let's put this washer back on here on that side of the pointer. Squinch that down 
And then you're gonna put this back on that side. And then we're just gonna screw it back in here. Now you'll be taking it back off, so you don't really have to have the uh, double pointers in position yet because you're gonna be taking it back off here in a second. So what you're doing here is you're screwing it in pretty snug, okay? Pretty darn snug. You're gonna pull it tight one more time just for good measure, but you can go straight down with it. You can just get it really good tight. Okay, now it's not really going anywhere. So from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out how much wire I actually need. And then there's a little kind of a crevice right here in the site. Point to it with this. You're gonna snug this wire into that crevice right here. See, right there. And that'll protect it from getting moved while you're using it. Okay, so I can tell that I'm probably going to need to cut some off right here already. So I'm just going to cut this off. Okay, so now I got it cut down a little bit. Now I can start bending it in place. See what I got going on here? kind of pushing it into that little crack there. There we go. There we go. There. Okay. So I'll show you what we got here. See how it's kind of in that crevice now it's protected. So it's gonna make it really hard for this thing to get bent out of position and it's wrapped around that wire. So from here, all we're gonna do, you see it's set on 50, we're gonna cut this shorter and then try and get it a little bit more sharper so we can tell exactly what yardage we're at. But you're pretty much 90% of the way there. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take it back off. I'm gonna cut it to about right there. Perfect. Okay, so there, you can see that the pointer's almost done. Okay. Almost there. Boom. So all you're going to need to do is straighten out that wire a little bit and you'll be good to go. But you can see that it's right at 50 yards. I just don't like it being curved up a little bit because it might be a little confusing. Okay. So that there is your third pointer. Make it a little bit more level. Boom. So you can see you got your spot hog pointers here. You got your third pointer there right at 50 yards. I'd paint that um, like I did mine here. You can see it's kind of like a, got a little bit of paint on it so it's like yellow. And that'll just help it stand out more. But from here, you're gonna slap it back onto your bow. And then basically, you're just gonna sight it in. Okay, so now that you have your pointer installed, you have the, uh, the pointers from spot hog, you have the washer, then you have your wire which runs into this little crevice here. So it's protected and it's stronger. And then mine's pointing at 50. So rather than just going out to the range and just saying, oh, let's see if it's on, I would suggest that you check this top pin because you just messed with your housing and your pins or you just messed with your pins and stuff and your pointer. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my top pin's still shooting on. So that's the reason I started with this video with my top pin on 20 is because I'm just gonna put that pointer back to 20 back to where it was so I know I'm still on. And then basically I'm gonna verify that. I'm going to move this down to my bottom pin down to 20 and I'm gonna sight in that bottom pin at 20 yards. Now basically what that's doing is it's basically it's safer for me to sight in. If I'm way off, I'm not missing the target and chasing my arrows. Basically all I'm doing is I'm, I'm missing at 20 yards and I'm picking my arrow out of the target instead of chasing it. If you, ha if you sight this in for 20 yards, it'll be sighted in for wherever you are on this dial. So from there, you can go to the original spot 
at 50 yards or whatever your sight tape shows. Mine shows on sight tape 20. If I'm sighted in for 20 yards, I'm right at 50 on there, which is exactly where I was for hunting season. So I know I did it right. So that is how easy it is, guys. Um, if you have any questions, message me, comment on here. I will get back to you. It is super simple. The hardest part is getting a wire to look like this when you're done. That's the original pointer. I'm slapping that one back on there. And that's the hardest part about the whole thing. Sighting it in is super easy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully it helps out. I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.